Monday morning, we're going to pour a child's shoe. Um, it's just a little tennis shoe. It's a, I made the ceramic shell mold and I burn out the shoe. Now, the shoe wasn't wax. It was various types of rubbers and plastics and fabrics. I didn't know how it would react in the oven and I was scared it would expand and break the uh, ceramic shell. So I cut, I cut some relief vents with my uh, grinder and the little saw blade. I cut quite a few to open it up and to let the oozing plastic escape. It seemed to have worked. Um, I burn it hot, two, 2,000 degrees almost for about an hour. And then I uh, let it cool and I rinsed it in the sink and I got a lot of ash out but no, uh, no solid particles. So I think, I think the shoe is gone. Um, and then I patched the holes with the uh, ceramic shell mixture with some fine sand and uh, a little bit of the um, ceramic fiber insulation that I used to give it some fibers. And I'll put it in the kiln when I, when I heat it up right before we pour. This should uh, dry out and turn clear. Uh, to prepare the shoe for making the mold, it was pretty simple. Um, it was a flap that I uh, glued down with hot glue because it wanted to be wild. It didn't want to lay flat. Um, there was some, the fabric part of the shoe was real porous. I was concerned that the ceramic shell would go into the fabric and not over the fabric. So I sealed that with uh, a mixture of uh, melted wax and paint thinner, made like a varnish and sealed that up. Um, there were some areas up in the front of the shoe that were, were very thin and I was, didn't know about the bronze flowing. So I poured uh, melted wax in the shoe and sloshed it a little bit, kind of thickened that area up. And then I had problems when I put the sprue on the back of the shoe, it did not want to stick to that plastic that the shoe was made out of. Um, I tried several different ways and what I eventually did was uh, I cut a hole in the back of the shoe to expose the uh, stuffing, it's cotton-like stuffing between the inner part of the shoe and the outer part of the shoe. And I melted the sprue into that cotton stuffing and then it stayed pretty well. The little vents were just pretty precarious. They weren't stuck very well, but uh, we made it through the first couple of dips and now they're, and then they were uh, stable after that and uh, just dipped it like a regular mold and burned it out like a regular wax mold, but hotter and longer. So this morning I'm gonna uh, melt some uh, silicon bronze and uh, pour it and see what happens. I'm going to use my small crucible, my number eight crucible, holds 30 pounds of bronze. Um, I can put it in the big furnace and it works fine, but I have to lift it up on three bricks. Otherwise, when I, uh, I can't reach it with my tongs. My tongs are uh, made a little different than the tongs for the big crucible. Okay, time to light the uh, kiln and heat up the mold. Crucibles full of scrap, and it's time to uh, light the furnace.
Okay, looks good.